Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweater and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how, is how you can easily edit and color grade your photos in just Photoshop. So if at all you don't have Capture One and you want to learn how you can edit and color grade your photos using Photoshop, this is the right video for you. So simply like this video because when you like the video, it helps, it helps YouTube push and recommend this video to many people out there. So simply like this video. So in order to import the raw photo into Photoshop, you can simply drag and drop the raw file into Photoshop after opening up Photoshop. Or you can simply right click on the image and simply select edit with and select Photoshop and it's going to automatically open up the camera raw filter. So this is what we want to do in this case. So look at the image that you want to edit and see what you want to first of all correct regarding the lighting and contrast issues. So for this case, I just want to simply come and correct the contrast issues regarding the image and also correcting the highlight issues. So I'll just come to the basic slider and simply take the highlights down and take the whites down and you can see it gets back the information within the white areas of uh, the dress. So I'll come and open up the shadows slightly, add some contrast to the image and I'll just come and warm up the image slightly to around 5500 kelvins then i feel like the image is leaning more on the green side so i'll just come and the opposite of green is magenta so i'll take the slider towards the red which is the magenta and that is going to get rid of the greens in the skin tone so after doing that i'll just come and add some tiny bit of blacks i think that is okay then i'll just add a tiny bit of vibrance to around Four, four looks great so after doing this i'll just come to the color mixer tool right here and i'll open it up so you can start we have few saturation and luminance luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so you can see you can either make the blues darker or you can make the blues brighter then saturation is the intensity of a given color you can increase on the saturation of the blues or you can reduce on the saturation of the blues then hues it is basically about changing a given color so you can change the blues to look like a color on top of it which is the aquas by moving the blue slider towards the left hand side you are making the blues look like a color on top of it and if at all you want to change the blues more you can make the blues more towards the purple side which is moving it towards the right hand side so after doing that the next thing is going to be basically correcting the color issues if at all we want to change them or alter them using the hue slider so i want to change the greens so i'll make the greens more towards the aqua side just like that to make them pop and i'll do the same for my yellows just like that then if at all it is over saturated i'll simply come to the saturation and simply take down the saturation of the greens and also the yellows so i'll come to the saturation of the blues and simply slightly take the saturation higher to around i think to around 50 51 and i'll come the luminous and simply slightly darken up the blues just like that to get back the information or the blue color in the sky area so after i have done the basic corrections i'll just come right here and left click once change the bit depth to 16 bit color space to adobe rgb 1998 and i'll simply leave this to 300 pixels per inch and sharpen post screen and set it to standard and hit ok and simply come to open to open the photo into photoshop for the more color grading process so after doing this, I'll simply come and get the crop tool, change the ratio from whatever it is to 4 by 5, just like that, and crop in the image and hit enter or return. So for this, we just want to simply do the final color grading. And for this, we just want to create uniform skin tones for this model. So you can either do this before or after doing the skin retouching, but this is going to this is basically a color grading video. So in order to create uniform skin tones, we are simply going to come to the adjustments right here and left click to open the adjustments right here. 
and come to gradient map and this is going to open up the gradient or apply a given color over the image so don't mind if at all your image is having a different color because we are about to correct that in the next step so just come to this gradient icon and simply left click on it so make sure the gradient icon has been selected and hide the gradient layer then left click over the color so you left click once on the color option and that is going to open up the color editor dialog box and make sure the sample size is set to 5 by 5 average and after doing that you are simply going to come and simply left click right here on this left hand pointer so this is going to represent our shadows regarding the skin tones or the darkest color of the skin tone and the one on the right hand side is going to represent the brightest color of the skin tone and we're going to create later on one in the middle to, re to represent rather the mid tones so you're just going to come and left click on the color option so left click on this left hand pointer and left click on the color option and choose the darkest color of the skin tone so for this i'll just go with this color and hit ok then left click on the brightest color and choose the brightest point of the skin tone so I'll go i think we have a bright color right there and hit ok then click in the middle to create a pointer and set the location to 50 so just type in 50 left click on the color option and simply come and choose a color that you feel is to represent our midtones and hit ok so right now we have mapped the skin from the brightest color or from the darkest to the brightest color so if i told you want to change any color you can simply click and you change the values of a given color by moving this in or outside so i'll just warm that up a little bit and click ok so after doing this just come and click ok once again and you can see it is not affecting the image but when you come and activate the layer you can see that it is affecting the overall image just come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to color and by doing that you can see the skin tones are now starting to fall into place select this white layer mask and simply press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard and that is going to invert the effect so if i told you have a number of images after inverting you can just drag this layer and place it over the other images that you want to edit or color grade before doing the painting process so just come and get the brush tool so it is the normal brush tool and make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected or pass in the flat hundred percent the mode is set to normal make sure that you have black and white on these two color swatches or you can reset if at all you have any other random color right here by pressing d on the keyboard and d is going to reset to black and white so make sure white is the foreground color you can use this arrow key to put white as the foreground color increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and simply start painting so don't mind if at all the effect is too much because we are going to be correcting that later on just paint just like that on the skin so I'm just going to paint on the skin just like that and as we're doing this you can see or notice that the skin is getting to look better and look even uniform but the effect is too much because we have not yet corrected that to our taste or our liking so I'll just come and paint over the hand area just like that and you're going to come down here and also paint over this other hand so take your time as you're doing this because you don't want to create shabby results at the end of it all and for the settings always make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected i think this is okay looks great so after painting over the skin and you feel like you're comfortable with the results 
the next thing is going to be fine tuning and even perfecting the results even more so what you want to do you are going to switch the brush back to black and zoom in and you correct the areas you may have missed out or accidentally painted so i'm just going to clean this up just like that so you can see that we didn't paint some areas so i'll just come and use a white brush to paint into those areas to have better and finer results so you can switch the brush back to black to erase the extras so i'm using a black brush to clear up or remove the extras from the areas that i painted on so erase it from even the lipstick if i told you what didn't want the lips to be affected by the colors can even erase it from there and also clean up the eyebrows switch the brush back to white and paint in the colors zoom out and look at the image at a distance and clean it up to make it better so after doing this anything is going to come becoming the opacity and reduce on the opacity to uh, your liking i think that looks okay and it looks great so i'll just take it down a little bit more so i'll just create a selective color adjustment layer and come to the blues and simply intensify on the amount of the blues or darken the blues if at all I feel like so I'll just come and play around with these values to see what works best for me I think that is okay and the image is now looking great and popping and I'll just come and create a black and white selection dark and darks just like that and simply hold down the image slightly by adding more yellows so this is how you can easily color grade your images or your offers in Photoshop. And if I told you I've enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if I told you you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.